Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer, and it's Sunday the 15th of May, which means today is Tarot Day! Okay, let's calm the farm for just a minute. Breathe and pause, guys, because the energy for the past week has been absolutely nuts. Let's go there. Who has not felt like they're going nuts for the past week? Okay. So, thankfully, <laughs> all this energy is starting now to dissipate. If it was an attack, you know, I just did a video the other day. Are you being attacked? It's on my YouTube channel, Dr. Linda Kramer. And the link is down in the description if you want to go watch it. Because I actually said, if you're getting attacked, please email me or contact me, right? Heaps of people did. So I know that this is just not about me. Okay, so today the energy is now starting to dissipate, thankfully. Okay, <clears throat> so the first card that she asked me to do today was my little lovey-dovey cards. And I've pulled one out. Here's my little lovey-dovey cards. I love them. And it says, love would go for a walk in the sunshine. Love would go for a walk in the sunshine. So what does this represent? You know when we get angry, we get frustrated, we get impatient, and they say go for a walk? Why do we go for a walk? It lets us calm down and be rational about decisions or other factors in our lives, right? So this is what the cards are saying today. Love would go for a walk in the sunshine. Now, if you live in Brisbane, Australia, we're having three days of rain. Where's the sunshine? But remember, sunshine is what we create in our own energy. Doesn't mean that it has to be physically a nice day outside. You can just go out there and appreciate the rain coming down so it waters the ground, okay? It gives water to animals out on farmlands, etc. So it doesn't mean you have to go out and physically find sunshine. It's find that representation of sunshine, okay? <clears throat> so go for a walk. To me, that gives us that clarity. It gives us that rationale. So we can come to decisions far better when we're using our intuitiveness and our resources available so we can make bigger and better decisions in our future. Okay, so the second card that I've put us pulled by Anna Hauter Creations by the Louise Benton. Lovely card. This is her website. If you want to go down and buy her cards, Today, the artwork represents a person, I would say that they're meditating, okay? They're meditating. They're filling themselves, look, they're sitting in the clouds. So here we go with go and find that sunshine, okay? Because she's sitting, this person's sitting in the clouds. And it's the peace card. So I'll put it up in case you do want to pause the screen and read it yourself. Let's go and have a read. Peace. Surrender to your spirit's nurturing presence. Feel your tender, peaceful essence. Let silence enfold you and rest a while from the chaos of this world, the struggle and toil. Now, isn't this what it's saying? Would love would go for a walk in the sunshine? Because that's when we're connecting again with nature. We're connecting with who we truly are. And we're not allowing all these other distractions from external forces to come in and affect how we are ourselves, okay? Let me continue. Drift into the mystic realms, your unlimitless self-expanding out. Allow the thoughts and fears to subside as distortions of the world are put aside. I just said distortions, okay? Um, distractions are distortions, okay? So this is where we want to pause. And isn't it funny I said that right at the beginning? It's tarot day, so let's pause, take a breath. I said it at the beginning of the video, and I, that was before I even read the card. So this week is all about 
taking stock of who we are okay don't listen to the external forces because they're doing what they want to do so just allow others to do what they want and this is a time to really take control of who we are and what we want in our future now okay um so the last paragraph says all you will ever need resides within within um resides inside yield and soften let your heart be your guide so this is where we take that walk because when we walk that's when we can clear out all that clutter in our head you know i personally like going for a drive when i've got thoughts to make because i think when i'm driving don't know if that's you but it's me i like going for a drive and it makes me think while i'm driving okay so whatever it is whether you meditate you wanted to go and have a bubble bath you go out and just have a walk around your neighborhood or go for that drive because that's when we clear out our own thoughts and good thoughts do come in okay through the peace of what this card represents okay the eternal present moment soul's resting place fall into its blissful embrace i am at peace in this moment so this is where this week guys we don't have to listen to what everyone else is saying go with your gut okay because we're coming up to my tarot cards and this one is a doozy it's the tower card what uh, what number is he he's 16 in the major ancana the tower so let me go over to my book and tell you what the tower says okay the tower it reads a house that has been built without good foundations must collapse sooner or later the tower represents such situations for anything that has been built on illusion or false beliefs is now coming to an end i can think of a certain couple of companies around the planet that start with up and all that illusion is now coming to an end correct we're now seeing the world opening up again after two years we're now hearing from a certain bg person if you know the name okay everyone has a front gate at their house correct okay so listen to the lies that he's now coming out with where he said oh we we were expecting it to be this yeah right okay so tower represents things are now falling now you got to remember with this card the higher you go the more you fall oh it's going to be a doozy of a week guys because things are coming out okay in the positive it means having the ability to see the truth in a matter and to build new for the future this time with solid foundations and this is why the cards are saying this week go out for a walk find your peace because when we find our peace and we're doing things through the trueness of our true self it's always a good thing right when we are positive and we put that positive energy into what we want to build the veil is going you know the hell how many people now are waking up and they're starting to see ghosts and they're starting to have esp and deja vu you know i get heaps of emails every day people saying oh my god i just saw a shadow i've never seen it before why now there's no coincidences everything happens for a reason and that veil is now starting to dissipate so what we're seeing now is that people are becoming more spiritual okay they're letting go of the belief systems that they had in the past and they're actually saying to themselves who am i when i take away <clears throat> all those external influences now when we look into psychology some of those external um, um, influences are when we're born it's our family they tell us something we believe it then we go to school so schooling is our second influential habit that we have so we get taught things at school so we believe it okay then we've got work situations university situations which is society um 
and we look at what they indoctorate or oh, indoctorate into us okay we're indoctorated whoa is that the right word um so we're now under that influence then you've got all your community community things whether you go to church whether you go to a sports place whether you go to a pub on a friday night and you're listening to all the opinions and free advice and other things that you're learning there so there's all these different avenues of where we come under all these external influences so this is the time guys to stop listening to all those influences and saying who am i what do i personally believe where it's not being told to me by somebody else so there's a lot of people now researching stuff okay i'm not alone in that matter anymore okay so let's get back to the tower card because this is such a powerful card okay this is never an easy card when it appears in a reading because it shows a sudden and unexpected ending that may bring a sense of catastrophe or chaos with it okay you know one thing i know about gov if you fill in the blanks and you know what the govs all around the world are okay they always distract us with something it's called problem reaction solution go google those three words and you'll know what i mean okay so what they do is they distract us with something while they're doing something in the in behind so we've had this situation now for two years and it didn't work let's just go there we all know now it didn't work right so what they have to do now is bring out another distraction and look at a certain w a r with certain countries please do not believe the news because that's coming out of a certain organization that's run by a certain country okay always go with your gut that's what i'm telling you guys today if something doesn't sound right question it okay question it why are they showing me footage saying it was yesterday when i've seen the same footage in beirut five years ago huh so you question it okay the other thing i saw this phone this week 50 million mobile phones in a certain country yet no one's putting out footage of what's really going on huh really that's a bit weird don't you think so question everything that we are told from external sources to believe this is the week where we start opening our eyes because the veil is disappearing we're seeing the truth for the first time okay true colors are coming out and guess what happens when they do things must crumble and fall things are crumbling and falling okay this card is not always totally unexpected sometimes when the tower is drawn there is already anticipation of something of this nature how many times have i said something big is coming okay yet often people will try to stay blind to this possibility so there are people out there blinded they don't want to face the truth of what's really going on out there so we're always going to be opinionated hello we're human everybody has their opinions it's raining today here in brisbane you ask two people one will say oh my god it's so miserable weather and someone like myself will say yes what a great opportunity for me to do other things today so everybody has their opinion or their perspective of what is going on correct so this is where we take our walk in the sunshine even if it's pouring down with rain okay we collect our thoughts we collect our rationale and we look into ourselves and we say you know what this is what i believe this is what i believe is to be the truth and even if somebody tries to tell me otherwise i'm still going to show them the compassion the understanding and most of all the patience of what they are saying you know the other day someone was trying to tell me something and i just thought no nah, don't believe that don't believe it but i afforded that person 
I remember the word afford. You know, we say, we, I want to save up so I can afford a new washing machine. That's currency. It's frequency. It's money. Okay? So I afforded this person the opportunity to speak his opinion. And I allowed him to have his own beliefs without asking or without ramming my thoughts down his brain, down his throat. Because we're all given a special um, life. We all have our life lessons. We all have our life contracts. I don't know my own life lessons. So how can I possibly ever know what anyone else is going through and what they have to learn for themselves, correct? Or, on the flip side, where they have to teach it to somebody else. How do we learn patience unless someone else slows us down so we have to show them patience? So they've come into our life to teach us a lesson, okay? So this week, don't judge people, guys. Don't accuse just allow people to do what they want. But at the end of the day, you can sit back and take your walk out in the sunshine and just say, yep, this is what I believe. I allow them to have whatever crazy thoughts they're going through because it's not my life. Okay? Okay. Um, okay. So people will try to stay blind to the possibilities having a sense of denial okay allow them don't try and force down your opinions down their throat okay but this is not always the case as the tower tends to indicate something collapsing that was falsely believed to be true so please treat this card delicately and that's what it says in my book delicately be nice to people if their world starts crumbling around them, they lose their job, they crash their car, then their animal dies, and then their relatives pass away or whatever, don't just go up to them and say, ha ha, you brought all this on yourself. Be delicate. Be sensitive. Be like an angel would. And offer that person compassion. Because they're only doing what they could at the time with their own belief systems, okay? If someone told me that the sky was really yellow and not blue, then I'd research it. I'd find out if there's a possibility they're true. I wouldn't just judge the fact that I've read it in a book or I saw it on the news. I'd go out there and experience and say, well, my eyes perceive the colour to be blue. Maybe your eyes perceive it in a different colour. They may be colour blind. Okay? So afford them that opportunity to have their own opinions. That's what's happening this week. Okay? <clears throat> okay. Please treat this card delicately. The last paragraph says, It is helpful to recognise how the tower fits into your life. Other cards in the reading should help you to see this. What preparations you can make in readiness <clears throat> and how you can improve matters afterwards. There is always something positive that can be done. What a great card. Okay, so even though there are certain organizations, GOVs, etc. around the world now, they're crumbling. I just read a report about Bitcoin and banks. They're crumbling. So how do we show compassion here? How do we prepare ourselves? And most of all, how do we prevent that crumbling to affect us? <clears throat> I know what I'm doing, but I'm not going to give you that advice in a tarot reading because it's my personal opinion. Okay? Okay? But just consider possibilities. That's the big message of this week. So how do we consider our possibilities? We go for a walk. We find that peace. So then we come up to really good solutions. 
So let's go over to my ruins. Hello, little cat, little... Oh, I love your stones. Oh, my God, they're all cold this morning. It's freezing here in Brisbane. Okay. Now, they're saying it's 22 Celsius, but it feels like it's about 15 Celsius here this morning. All right, so let me just go in. Okay, give me one stone that the whole world needs to hear for the next week. Oh, yeah, there is a hot one in there. It's like they go hot like a little hot rock. Okay. He's up in this corner, so I'll just hold you because I don't hold them. Oh, he's, I've got to go dig in for him. Okay, it's... No. It's this little one. No. Okay, I'm just going to let the gods decide. Okay, put him into my hand. Okay, so that one. Okay. Oh, I got the this one. Okay, let's go find him in my ruin guide. Let's go find him in the ruin guide. Let's see what this guy is. That's it. Okay, so here he is up here. And... Is that him? <coughs> That's him. So it's this one here I'm going to be reading. Okay, let's have a look. <coughs> it is called Haga'az. Haga'az. And it's the hail. Good, because we're raining. Ha, ha, ha. What a metaphor there. Okay, it's the hail. The ice ruin and primary ruin of delay. The symbol of havoc, disruption by elements outside one's control. Some short-term pain for long-term gain. Okay, so straight away, things are crumbling. So there's going to be some hurt and pain, right? There's going to be havoc. There's going to be disruption. Okay, disruption's coming. Okay, so let's just read it. We've got two dot points. Like hail, i.e. destructive, but melts to water to grow crops. This ruin signifies short-term disruptions that result in long-term positive changes coming. So we look at all the things in our lives that are now crumbling apart. You know, I've mentioned many, many times in my videos that if we want more of good in our lives, we've got to get rid of all the bad, right? You know, it's like the cup of water um, that I use that anal analogy. How full is your cup? If you want more water, you've got to release the air, right? <clears throat> Go watch that video. And it's in my book, Five Years in Heaven, The Teachings of Heaven. I explain it in there too. So if we want more good, we've got to release the bad. Get rid of all that bad. That's the doozy that they don't teach us in the law of attraction. It's that releasing, okay? We've got to release all the negativity around us. <clears throat> Let it crumble away. So then the new stuff comes in and we nurture it and grow it like the hail turns into water to nurture us, okay? So the second one says, indicates presence of circumstances outside of our control. It could be positive or negative. So you look at the adjacent ruins to cast for the, um, what's that last word? Um, for the clues. Okay, so the clues. Things are crumbling with the tower, okay? But if we stay true to who we are and we love unconditionally and we hold our energy in a high frequency where we are trusting them to make our lives better, how can we fail at the end of the day? Because the things that I'm seeing that are now crumbling, and I'm sure a lot of you will agree with this, the things that are now crumbling apart are those in negative energies. Ooh, let me know what you think, guys. Comment below if this week has been a doozy. Okay, like this video, share it with your friends, okay? Go through my video list and look at other videos I've got there. Because I have got other videos there about Law of Attraction and other videos. So scroll down through my list, okay? Love yous all. Have a great day. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. 
To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.